welcome to the Green and Gold Gridiron Show. My name is Margo Morin. And I'm Chris Sheets from Kissing Country, 103.9. Look up, way up. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Uh, we're here in the uh, Media Center at Commonwealth Stadium. We've got a great show uh, coming up. We're going to talk about next year as well, look into the future with the 2010 Grey Cup right here at Commonwealth Stadium. Executive Director Dwayne Vino is going to be stopping by. We'll be asking him what we can expect. But before we start talking Grey Cup 2010, we are going to be revisiting some old Washington State rivalries. We'll be finding out who knows Kai Ellis the best in teammate trivia. And then we're going to roll out Football 101 with Tom Richards. Today we have the defensive lineman from the State of Washington edition of Teammate Trivia. Eastern Washington alums Greg Peach and Dario Romero are competing to see who knows Washington Husky Kai Ellis the best. All right, first question, what is he known for on the team? Being a jokester, B, talking to himself, or C, his dance moves? Uh, I mean, I say all of the above, basically. <laughs> and some. Pick one to be a jokester. I'd have to say talking to himself. A jokester. What did he say was the best part about going to school at UW? <laughs> Are you just coming up with your own answer on this one? I'm thinking about it. Okay. Probably well, we'll give you some options first. How about A, playing for Rick Neuhausel, B, winning the Apple Cup in Triple OT in 2002, or C, playing against Miami in 2001? Well, probably winning the Apple Cup in Triple OT, which was a fluke anyway, but probably that. I'd have to say a free trip to Miami. Playing against Miami. Of all the Eskimo defensive linemen, he is A, the fastest, B, the smartest, or C, the toughest. Not the smartest, not the fastest, so toughest. I'd have to say the nastiest. <laughs> slash toughest. I am the fastest. Well, apparently he thinks he's the fastest. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Hi, I'm Tom Richards with Football 101, and this week I'd like to talk about a different way of passing the football. Previously, we've talked about the quarterback protection in the pocket. Well, if the quarterback is always going to be in the pocket, as I mentioned before, the defense gets paid too, and they're going to come after that one spot that the quarterback is going to be sitting in. If they always know he's going to be there, they're going to attack that one spot. So to mix it up a little bit on offense, we come up with a rollout. So what will happen is one of the running backs will come out here to help out block this end, because the quarterback, when he gets the ball, is going to roll out toward the sideline. So it means this guy's got an awfully long way to go. Instead of just going here, he's got to chase him down. A little bit shorter here, that's why we need some help. We're going to have two guys make sure that end doesn't get out in front of the quarterback. So that's called a rollout. Try to move the pocket around, not have the quarterback always in one spot, because now he becomes a target, big target for the defense. For more information on Football 101, go to esks.com. Many people think that Ricky Ray and Jason Moss don't get along all that well, considering they are competing for the same position. Yeah, it's the exact opposite, actually. They're best of friends off the field, but very competitive when they golf together, like a lot of friends are, actually. And we're going to go to the Ranch Golf and Country Club for our QB three-hole challenge and see how they do. Hi, I'm Ricky Ray, quarterback for the Edmonton Eskimos. I'm here with my friend Jason Moss, uh, quarterback for the Eskimos as well. Uh, we're here today at the ranch on Out of Bounds. Um, we're going to play a little three-hole challenge. I'm going to hit pole driver. I can't. Uh, yeah, you can. Not in this hole. The second hole for sure. Wide open. Grip it and rip it. Nice shot. Oh, yeah. Oh! Pressure got to him. Hey, that's the fairway, though. Well. <laughs> Found four, but none of them were mine. <laughs> oh. Actually, that's mine right there. So I'm going to take it as a red stake. Get there. Um, great shot, Jay. I'm from Arizona, so the desert. I'm used to hitting out of the stand, so I'm a pretty decent bunker player. 
Six. Six. All right, one up after one, I'll take it. Oh God. I'm gonna try to blast it right at the pin basically, or just over these trees, if you look behind me, like straight ahead of me basically. We'll just hit and hope. Well, I think I got wind with me. I might go five iron because it's only 190 to the front. Just to make sure I can get it over those trees. Nope, didn't get it. Well, I didn't make it over and there's a hazard there, so I gotta take a drop here. I still got 204 to the pin, but I gotta hit a mid iron to get it over. Hopefully be safe here and hit a nine. Nope, didn't get it. Now that one got through. That all, that all. On line two, obviously made a great recovery shot. That's all right. That hit hard. That might have been way too hard. Slow down, please. That's stupid. Oh, that's terrible. Nice shot. Nice. Snuck it in there. I should say. That's where you landed, eh? Yeah. Not much of a slope either, so my club, my club grips the ball. Title is Pokey Wedges. <laughs> nice chip. Big putt, pressure's on him here. Jeez, great putt. Well, that's it for the three hole challenge. Uh, we both won a hole, we tied this hole, but uh, Jay gets the win because um, he had a one stroke uh, lead on me. So uh, congratulations. Appreciate and um, you know, this is what we love to do in our off time to come out and uh, get a couple rounds in. Uh, we get a chance to compete a little bit as well. So uh, that's it for Out of Bounds and uh, we'll see you next time. I think most of us know that this year the Grey Cup will be in Calgary and for the very first time next year it's coming up the QE2 right here to the City of Champions. We're very excited about that. We're very excited to welcome this man to the show too. It's the Executive Director of uh, Grey Cup 2010, Dwayne Vanille. Now Dwayne, first of all, the very first time I saw you, once you got this, this wonderful position, I said, can I get Grey Cup tickets? You're starting to get that question a lot from friends and uh, family, aren't you? Oh yeah, by all means. You know, everyone wants to know how they get their tickets and when they're going on sale and and it's, it's been a number one question for us. And the bottom line is, uh, if you are an Eskimo season ticket holder, you're gonna get a chance to get them before anybody else. That, that's right, we are, um, if you're an Eskimo season ticket holder, you get first dibs at your tickets at your existing seats, and as well, you're allowed to buy extra seats. So if you have two seats in your account, then you're allowed to buy two extra seats before they go on sale to the general public. The key is to get those tickets. Uh, and we saw a game here with 62,517 last week that gets us all excited about a full stadium again next November. Yeah, you know, a big part of my job that day was just going around and seeing what the building's like with that many people in the building. And, and, and you're right, that's exactly what we're going to be like for the Grey Cup in 2010. And it was exciting to see, and it just, it, it, it starts to spur that fever a little bit knowing that Grey Cup's around the corner. We talked about the game, now let's talk about the activities around the game. Right behind us is the, what's going to be the field house where a lot of the activities are going to be held. 
Yeah, you know, um, for the for the first time in Edmonton, we are going to have a, a tailgate party indoors in the new field house and, and pre-game, and there's going to be bands and entertainment and just getting ready for the game, and we're very excited about that. We're also going to be doing an outdoor tailgate party as well in the new parking lot right here, and, and we're going to have live music playing as well. So we're going to try to make it as festive as possible pre-game and just get into that mood. And most importantly, we're going to try to make it better than Calgary this year, right? Because yeah. we're Edmontonians, that's what we do. Well, yeah, uh, Calgary's hosting this year's Grey Cup, and, and from, from all reports, they've got a great show planned and a, a, a great festival planned, and, and that excites us a lot because all we know is we're going to do better than Calgary. You're going to do a great job. We know that for sure. It's going to be a wonderful Grey Cup, and by this time next year, you'll have my kind of hairstyle because <laughs> it's going to be crazy and busy for you, but you're the man for the job, yeah. so congratulations. Thank you very much. Up next on the show, we got Patrick Kabongo. He's going over the stance in the three minute drill. Hi right, guys, today on the three minute drills, we're going to do, we're going to talk about your stance. I'm Patrick Kabongo from the Edmonton Eskimos. This is Jordan LeClaire. Jordan. Dawson. Dawson. Brandon. Brandon. Kyle. Kyle. Justin. Justin. All right, we're going to work on our stance today. So, guys, what I want you to do is this. I want you to be shoulder to feet apart, all right? I've, I know, I've no space in, in between each other, all right? I want you guys to uh, take your right foot, bring it to your, you know, like bring it like to your heel like this, to your heel, okay? Now I want you to open up like this. Perfect, open up again. Now I want you to take the same foot and go a little bit out with it. All right, perfect. So now I want you guys to put your elbows on your quads like this, on your knees, and move side to side like this. Feel comfortable. It's very important to be comfortable in this, all right? Then I want you guys to put your hand down. Put a lot of weight into your hand. All right, stay like this. All right, perfect. Stay like this. Now I want you to... To move your hand a little, a little further up, perfect, just like this. You're doing good. You're doing good. Lift your head up a little bit. Perfect. Your hands are going to go out a little bit more. Okay, you here. Perfect. Lift your head up. Good. All your weight should be in your front hand like this. So if I come and try to kick you, you're going to fall on your face. All your weight should be on the front hand. And make sure as you guys get off, you stay low and square. So let's all do it again. So everybody stand up. Feet to shoulder apart. Bring your feet back to heel, your foot to heel. Open up, open up again. Move it out. Elbows on your knees. Go side to side, feel comfortable. Make sure your head is up, your hand down. You guys are ready to go now. You guys are real D-lines. All right, good job, guys. Thank you. It was another great show of a three-minute drill. Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Green and Gold Gridiron Show. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday starting at 4 p.m. on Shaw TV Channel 10. You can also check us out on esks.com and shawtv.ca. That's right. It's Friday Night Football, 5.30. Early start for the Eskies as they take on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in Winnipeg this coming week. Uh, they're trying to get back into first place in the West. Check a Shaw HD or, of course, you can listen to the voice of the Eskimos, 6.30 Chad with Brian Hall. Until next time, go, go Esk, go! go.